Now I'm going to continue where I was because I just have a little bit more to say on this topic. topic. And then I'll upload these too. Hopefully you can see me. It looks a little bit dark. Sorry guys. Um, but what I wanted to tell you guys is this this, this, this. See if I can do this or it doesn't fall. Okay. See if you can see this. Okay. <clears throat> Down here in 3D then 4D then 5D and above as you collapse up to oneness. The way that you create physicality is physicality here in this time space is with linear time space okay and the way that it went from it from this density dimension density whatever the way it went from this density down to 3d is that there was an increase of those prisms around um the entity that was running the show or you 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 in this emotional state as you would walk through it now you're doing it so fast that you're not thinking about it you are guiding yourself with feelings feelings are the way that you guide now for me with me just having like five feelings which can make that a joke but kind of is almost true that i have happy i have happy I have sad, I have anger, I have um, frustration, frustration, uh, I have worry, and, and I don't really access it anymore, but I did have, not in 5D, but in 3D, I developed fear and despair. I really don't have those anymore, but I did develop those um, very quickly at the beginning. I did not come with those, fear and despair. Um, I came in with a basic, I think, happy, sad, and anger and, and fear. A uh, basic fear, but not this kind of deep despair. Fear. Okay. First I came in with just happy. Uh -huh. Everybody comes in with just happy. Very quickly added the rest of these. Okay. Uh, and those are basically my emotional range. There's not a whole lot more than that. Now, I don't do fear and despair anymore. I very seldom do worry. Seldom do worry. Uh, I definitely have more frustration. Very seldom I can almost get rid of anger altogether. And I have happy, sad frustration and worry is what I have left. And I don't have very many aspects of those things. Never have. So I've basically been told my whole life that I'm very emotional. Very emotional. And I'm not. I'm not emotional at all, exactly. As a matter of fact, I'm the opposite of it. But because my, my emotional range as a starseed with no experience, not very much experience in physicality, and no experience in human physicality, uh, where everything is is run and created by these feelings that guide you and make you choose which prism to put in a line to create your timeline that you're on in this moment, then mine is very limited. So I would be happy, almost overly happy. And then when that was thrown into sadness, I was overly sad because I don't have those little intricate um, versions of happy and sad that that most people who have experience in physicality do have. I don't have those. So I would, I'm sure now I would probably have been um, treated for bipolar or manic something because I would jump so hard from one to the other. Uh, and I would do it quickly because if I was happy, 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 I was very happy. But if something happened that put me into the sad state, I would very quickly jump into sad. There was no... Gradual, gradually I'm not happy anymore and gradually into a deep sadness. No, I went from happy to sad because that's all my experience had for me as coming in here the way I did. Okay? Let me take those off. But 
back to physicality and linear time space in this creation. Now in 5D, we're going to use 10. There are 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we're going to say that there are 10 um, options, which there are way more than that, but they have to have a number. That there are 10 options of the prisms around me for me to choose from to create linear time space. Okay. And as I go up through 5D, I'm going to lose the lower ones. Lower, lower, lower. As I remove these, then linear time space becomes much more fluid, easier to manipulate, and eventually I go up and I lose all of these, and I'm with me. All of these collapse down into the higher self that came in on that other picture. Now I'm outside of linear time space because I'm not choosing from the prisms, putting them in a row to create the illusion of time space. But because I collapse all of these into myself, now I'm in now time. Now I can step back into 5D and immediately have all of these back to whatever extent I would like and be back in linear time space. But now it's with aspects around that prism for me to create that are all good. They're all happy. I want to be there. I want to create that linear time space in that fifth dimension where all of the lower vibrations are now collapsed into myself and are no longer interpreted through the human skin suit as negative vibrations. They're simply vibrations that are part of the whole again. Down here in, in 40, there are, uh, we're going to say 20 of these. X times 20. In 3D, in the lowest vibrations, you can take that 10 and make it a thousand. It is this dividing of the those X's, dividing of those X's and X's into littler and littler um, different kinds of feelings, of emotions, down to tiniest little change details that created all of those prisms to choose from when you're in the third dimension and you've got experience with them. This is what makes physicality so dense. This is what makes 3D so interesting for entities that come and play this game. Because when they get down here as a long-term human and they've got all of these infinite options of prisms that they can put in a row to create a linear time-space experience that can be changed at any time, any time. And mostly they don't know and it happens so fast that they can't even control it and don't even know that they're controlling it. And it's that unexpectedness of this life in 3D that draws entities that you don't know you don't know there is some safety and some some rules that everybody agrees to like like gravity mm -hmm. like you you're young and then you grow up and then you die some basic rules that everybody agrees to pretty much most everybody agrees to and then you got down here with all of these options mixed with amnesia that you don't know that you're a god and you don't know that you're picking those prisms because it happens so, so fast. And the picking of that prisms can be any, any, anything that you want. Now, now that you've got that down, you understand that. Now you've got you picking your prisms one at a time and everyone else. And there are trillions of beings on this planet, plant, animal, molecule, elementals, rocks, water, everything, wind, everything, that have come here to play this game. And as they also have prisms around them to choose from. Now the plants and animals, the minerals, all those guys, they have different kinds of prisms to choose from because they stay in the now and they don't operate under um, by following and moving and picking as, uh, prisms by their feelings. They do it more consciously, but w they still are there. 
and they still are picking prisms. Now, you're picking prisms and everybody else is picking prisms, but the prisms that you pick have other people in them doing certain things. So you pick a prism. We're going to slow this way down like you're looking at your life in slow motion. So here's you in this prism, experiencing this. And then you get mad at your boss. So you send out vibrations of anger. This immediately takes you to a very, depending upon the vibration of the anger, it immediately takes you to a prism of yours where you experience, you're surrounded by people, places, and things that have more anger, that make you feel more anger. At the very exact same time, all of the people that are in this story of this prism have aspects of themselves, either agree with you, most of them do, where they, over here, this is them, they agree to focus on that prism with you. And so does everyone else. So in that split second, for that individual prism, you are with a collective that all support feeding you more anger. Now, because the law of attraction is really, really good at meshing people up, this will also match something from this person. Let's say in this prism where you're getting anger, this same exact prism experience, this person who sent out a vibration of love has in this very same prism an experience of, of uh, love. They met their new puppy at the SPCA for the first time and get a lick on the face. bam -o. They can get that back. Now, this same person in this instant, say, this person, you, who sent out anger, was at the SPCA walking towards that puppy that you had looked at yesterday and wanted but wanted to check with your family first. So you were coming back in to get this puppy, and this person right here who agreed to match the prisms with you was there a split second before you do and picks up the puppy and walks to the front with it. And you lose your puppy. Now they've got fed what they sent out for, which was love, more love, and you got more anger, which is what you sent out, even though you were sharing that same split second collective with this person. And this collective prism making happens wicked fast. So you are changing collectives, you are changing people, even though it looks like you and I are talking to the same aspect of you and me all the time we're sitting and talking. That's simply not true. There are differences and it's a different aspect of me that you're talking to based on your feelings at the moment. So let's say, I'll show you a conversation like that. So let's say we're having a conversation and I'm in a good mood. I'm in a really good mood. And you were in a ah, mood to begin with. So I come in and I da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Now, at that point, the more I'm happier I am, because it's off of where you are where you're not happy, it starts to grate on your nerves. So you start getting angrier and more agitated and frustrated. The more you hear from me, the more you go, oh, things like this. I am happy. You are not happy and it feels bad. So you, it feels like I said in the other thing, it feels like somebody is hurting you. It feels uncomfortable, depending upon how far away you are with those, fresh, with those vibrations. It can feel very, very painful. So... You start feeling painful not knowing why. You just feel more and more uncomfortable. So you start getting more and more angry. Now you're listening to me through angry eyes and ears. And you're listening to me as I bubble on about my new puppy. Now you start interpreting it like, oh, she's just, she's just, now let's say I bought the puppy. Oh, she's just um, being, what's the word? Better than me because she can afford this new puppy. 
So even though I'm in a good mood and a happy mood and trying to share my happiness, you have now translated it into me trying to be nasty because your vibration was low and you are, you're not it's uncomfortable being around a vibration that much different than you. Okay. Now, you can take from happy collective me. Now you keep on doing it. Now you spout something back to me. Oh, well, so you think you're better than me because you can afford to buy that dog, huh? Well, now I guarantee you probably nine times out of ten, I'm immediately going to go, what? And happy me will be gone instantaneously and defensive me will will step in. You've completely changed to a different collective, a different me. Now, I could have at the same time chosen not to go, oh, and just kind of blown it off and continued on my happy way, staying in my happy place. Probably most people would get defensive. Now, defensive me steps in and I fight back. Now, I go to an even worse aspect of you because now you're defensive. Now, we're in fight mode. Now, we're in now we go to a different aspect of us that's, I'm going to win. No matter what it takes, the fight begins. Make sense? Alrighty then. So, that's it. Let's stop it right here. Stephanie just stepped in. Love you guys so much. Huge hugs. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.